Hello guys, uh, after the last video, I was really thinking to do something different. So here I am back. So today I'm going to review the most controversial book with the most controversial title and the controversial writer. I am sure you all have heard about this book. Yep. Why I'm a Hindu? No, I'm not going to review this book. I just have a little concern with the title. So the title says why I am a Hindu. It's written by Mr. Shashi Tharu. So similar to this, I have one more book called why I am not a Hindu and I'm going to review that and it's equally controversial to this. Uh, trust me. To start with, I'll just give you a little introduction and general trivia. So when I am asked or uh, teenagers mostly are asked that, um, hi, how do you define your love for the country? Or uh, what's your patriotic feeling? People like me just say, uh, we don't believe in religion and caste system. And we just write uh, Indian in the place of caste in the forms and all the applications and whatever. And I think that's completely dumb. Yeah, doing that is not dumb, of course. Doing that without knowing is very dumb. Before we do that act, we should actually know about the topic in quite detail. Like about the caste system, about the religion system, how did it all start and whatever, whatever. We should know before doing that. And uh, that's why today I'm here with this book. Okay, to start with the full name of the book, it's Why I am a Hindu, a Shudra critic of Hindutva, philosophy, culture and political economy. To uh, actually give you, this book uh, has been written by Kanchan Elia Shepherd. Yeah, you got the name right. I'll explain you later. So this book was basically released in 1996 and is just a small book of 132 pages. Trust me, it's very small. And basically it costs 160 rupees, but you can get it for free. Watch the video till end. I'll tell you how. So uh, basically I am a very spontaneous person. I just speak. But uh, this book has detailed study. So I just needed to refer a lot of notes and I just needed to write down a lot of things so that I don't forget on everything. So I just told, tell you, uh, told you the full name of the book. It's quite big, I know. And the writer, uh, Kancha Elia Shepherd. He belongs to Kuruma caste. See, talking about caste and religion is really important when I talk about this book. To start with, I'll talk about the writer and the other stuff towards the end i just want to jump to the book right now because i'm very excited for that to start with uh i'll just start with the physical appearance a little quote from the book and also some references and that's all and that's very amazing i think like that really makes you read the book so look at the back color uh, cover just a para from the book is quoted and some reviews little compulsory description and mrp so according to elia his childhood uh they never heard of the word called hindu not as a word, not as a culture, or not as a religion. And he wrote this book in a very delicate period of 1995-1996. To open with the book, first we come across preface. Uh, preface basically proves that he has done a lot of study to write the book and there's a lot of detailed description and study. And then comes the introduction. So I have marked a star point and written must read uh, just next to introduction. Uh, because uh, first three paras of introduction are really important. They just tell you why you need to write, uh, why you need to read the book and also gives you the introduction to the book. Like the book starts there itself. You know the main aim and it ju also justifies the title why I am not a Hindu. To start with, uh, first three paras are really important. Basic steps, how it uh, started and I highlighted that very clearly because I just want you to know that that's really important. Uh... He has referred OBC, SC, Harijans, all as Dalit Bahujans in his book. And book revolves around Dalit Bahujans a lot. And uh, also when I look for the word Dalit Bahujan in internet, internet says people and caste uh, who are from the exploited and suppressed majority. There's something wrong in this. Just think. Okay. So what happens exactly is like uh, from 1990, the word Hindutva has taken toll over all over every mind and uh, he's really confused so he thinks that uh, everyone who is not a muslim not a christian and not a sikh is a hindu that was the background at that time so he says that uh, like let me just get you through the background this is general trivia uh, what is actually hinduism like we should get over the misconceptions right so uh, before independence before britishers came thing well, after britishers came there were a lot of people in India, basically Muslims, Christians, 
and other all small small castes no hindus so britishers wanted to administer our country and they needed a systematic system so that they could you know very well uh, keep the records and it was going hard because of so much of varied caste so uh, britishers decided that let's all us all of us count them in a word called hindu so all the small castes all 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 everything piled up and they started being called hindu this started it's okay now to start with what does the word hindu exactly mean so according to persian dictionary hindu means uh, you know thieves and decades and all that so it's not a matter we must mind because it's in the persian, persian dictionary but that's what it means and that's what britishers called us so hinduism started this way it's okay cool but elia was not agreeing to this fact he was like okay this is okay but i won't call myself hindu and what that's what the book is about he doesn't want to call himself hindu and he has given explanation in 132 pages and i'll explain you how it happens so in our answer sheets we always have a question like difference between this or that difference between sunar uh, solar eclipse and lunar eclipse difference between climate change and this and that like as students we have all have attempted that same way the book has the same format the difference between dalit bahujans and the hindus what all comes in hindus neo kshatriyas brahmins and baniyas and uh, i don't know why people think that he has criticized hinduism in the book i don't think so he has just written the things what happens around us so uh, he has just written difference between his caste which is kuruma caste or shepherd caste and uh, and uh, hinduism and say that see all these points are valid and that's why i don't want myself to call hindu so what has he points picked up to create difference okay there are a lot of them okay there are honestly a lot of them let me start with one he has differentiated between education language culture boys and girls upbringing caste language gods conscience marriage divorce death ideas a lot a lot a lot like every small detail has been mentioned in it okay so book is divided into seven chapters and each chapter has its own topic which has been beautifully explained okay and also i have highlighted this again and i have written that the priest and the people uh, is a sub topic of second chapter that's my favorite part and that's a must read yeah that's a must read and one more part it is uh, uh one more part uh, i have uh, mentioned yeah hindu gods and us also the favorite part yeah it's like an eye opener so these two parts i've highlighted because these two are really very important parts to talk about the book it's very sarcastically written so you're gaining knowledge as well as you're like you know giggling because it's really very sarcastically written uh to say what's book in a nutshell i have just taken up a quote and i'm telling you he looks at the socio economic and cultural differences between the dalit bahujans and the hindus in context of childhood family life market relations and hindutva of course so study of socio economic and cultural differences between his caste and the hindus or brahmins baniyas and neo kshatriya such a easy book it is it's just 132 page book but honestly let me tell you uh, it hardly takes me 2 to 3 hours to read 300 page notebook or book because my re- reading is fast but it's work of fiction there are story books this book took me really a lot of time like 4 to 5 hours to read just 132 pages because every page you need to read it in detail you need to understand it you need to absorb it okay so kanchaila was also expert sheep handling or sheep keeper because he belongs to kuruma or a shepherd caste okay i have written some of the points from his book like i've just taken up the lines and i've just written them also to say a uh, mention of dr ambedkar dr b r ambedkar mahatma jyotirao phule uh, periyar ramaswami naikar is really very prominent in the book so of course you're talking about caste and if you don't talk about legends it's not it's not okay na so these all people are also mentioned also to say marxism is the most revolutionary theory that capitalist europe has produced and why did it not work in india good question right so for the answer you need to read the book actually really he has also told the truth behind the positions in the party congress he has different opinions about gandhi and nehru uh, he has even noticed minute things like texts in the textbooks like he has seen the discrimination and the caste hierarchy in such small things and noted it down he has also written the everyday problems of dalit bahujans that they still face 
like they still face the problems like in 2020 but he's written in 1996 but they still face okay and also question like saraswati or savitri okay this question is very deep and you need to understand it really very well okay and uh, he also says that bali kingdom you we all know right bali kingdom was earlier under dalit bahujans then what happened yeah you need to read the book uh, also ravana reference like this is very coincidence that ravana reference is also there in the book real life examples like yadav is mayavati and bjp okay this was the most interesting part because we could relate it to it completely also statistics are mentioned very well yeah it has statistics so preface has completely done justice over here that yeah i am speaking the truth i am not faking or anything world of dalit bahujan and hindu is not only different but opposite this line hits hard this line hits hard and this is uh, towards the end of book family system is uh, completely explained and towards the end book gives you a lot of hope so i just told you what so he has in seven chapters there are differences between the married life the childhood the upbringing the jobs the and it's very simply written yeah like a 16 year old like me understood it it's really very simply written and uh, i just felt like the book should be called i opener because what i was thinking is completely wrong and he has given it with it a uh, reference with reference so i just call it i opener like it was really good reading this book so as i always say coin has two sides and this is the second side guys we need to see this side okay so some of his points are that god and men are equated in many respects just think about the level is thinking at guys like child pretends to be obedient as gandhi pretends to be poor i won't talk about it and uh, their children were the most unskilled gluttons whereas our children were the contributors of national economy itself this line is the most realistic line of the whole book and what's written before it and after it makes it very easy to understand and relate i've, written, I've literally written down these lines and i'm just like when can i use it in some speech or somewhere also to say he has used original words like for curd rice for sambar for hindus for muslims he has used the original telugu words which make it which makes it fun read of course um uh, now i told you that i'll talk about the writer and um, the other stuff okay so i told you about the book book is just a difference between and it's just 132 page notebook and it's really amazing i just call it i opener it's a good fun read for a little short of time little i openers little gk gets increased and you just feel a little liberated after reading the book okay so kancha elaya shepherd who is he exact exactly so i needed to write down a lot because he is a lot uh, so kancha elaya shepherd shepherd is added to his name late, later because he, why i am not a hindu that clearly means he doesn't want to call himself hindu he wants to call himself kuruma caste he belongs to kuruma caste so he wants to call himself one of them so he added the word shepherd to his surname to start with he's a political theorist writer and activist for dalit rights even though kancha elaya shepherd is not a dalit he belongs to obc but he comes himself in them one that's great okay so uh, he basically works in usmania university he's director center for the study of social inclusion and exclusion policy css iep at maulana azad national Ur uh, urdu university that's a lot he does a lot and he also writes many books and this is one of them and this is the most amazing of them also told you that he has dedicated this book to uh, to his mother kancha khatamma and he has mentioned it very clearly dedicated to a soul kancha khatamma so why am i talking about his mother so much listen now so kancha khatamma played a pivotal role in shaping his political thought she was at forefront at the kurma struggle against the forest guards discriminatory behavior was called uh, was killed during the violent confrontation while protesting against the police brutally so his mother is also that great okay not only him his mother was also a activist a uh, uh, that level woman who was really liberated by that time and that's why i also mentioned his mother uh, so deliberately so i told you about the book that it's a special difference between like how we write in our exams and it's a uh, eye opener and also i should uh, tell you oh, yeah i remember now i told you how can you get this book at free so uh, recent times lockdowns basically we can't go outside and buy a lot of things like not 
Oh, many things like books and clothes and all so I have given a link in my description you can click on the link and you have direct access to the book yes even I didn't have my book when my mom recommended that read this so I just downloaded a PDF from internet and I made it more easier for you just click on the link below and you just have that uh, description you just click and read and it's a very fun read, uh, fun read like it's just 132 page and anyone can spare that much time to get a little bit of vibration so thanks guys that's about it I just spoke a lot today and I really felt like sharing this because people have a lot of misconception about this book, a lot of hate toward this book. And I never found that, uh, uh, I never found a single reason to hate this book because uh, it's really liberating. So stay safe guys and I'll be back with more varied content. Till the time, bye.